So we have three demos for you tonight, and I'm going to ask Eco Heidi to jump in first to share her demo. She's had quite a day, so she's going to tell us about her day and her project. And I did get her project posted at cooltocraft.com. It's one of the featured projects on the website today. So I'm delighted to welcome a party host uh, who's stepping up to the demo cam tonight. It's my sister, Eco Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Tiffany. Thanks, everyone. Um, I probably should be in my pajamas tonight. I probably should have a pillow here. I actually went to a preschool this morning and um, taught this project that I'm going to show you to about 70 preschoolers, ages 2 to 5. <laughs> now, I did have help. Please don't think that I did it all by myself, but what an interesting day. And actually, what, I've been, what I'm doing for the next nine months with this school is I'm trying to put together a curriculum so that we can show kids at a very early age how to craft. And since it's eco-friendly um, projects that I'm doing, because that's what I love to do, I'm showing them not only how to be creative, but to also do it with things that they would normally throw away. So first thing I did was I asked the school to collect cereal boxes. And um, they did. I went in the first day and I didn't have enough because you have to figure that this project that I'm doing, which is a tic-tac-toe game, I needed, first of all, I needed 700 bottle caps. I needed like 70 um, cereal boxes. And um, it was quite a job to get them to collect everything. What we did is we made a tic-tac-toe game. Now, as you can see, this is the cereal box. Here, let me take these off for a second. We have the background is a, the board is a cereal box, and then we cut pieces for the um, the actual game piece, and then I have magnets on here to make it where they could put it on like that. So let me show you, and kind of as I go, I'm kind of going to tell you too how I was teaching it so that it could be a curriculum in school. First of all, if you're going to teach kids, either for this age group, I had to have everything pre-cut. Um, if it's a little bit older age group, I would suggest maybe you drawing the lines onto the cereal board and have them cut so that you can teach them um, cutting because I think it's really important to start at a very early age to show kids how to, um, how to cut and glue. So this is my board game. And also when you're teaching in a classroom, I started out by putting their name on the back of each one of them um, so, that the, so that we would know at the end of the day um, whose was whose. Then I cut some, um, I think these are one and a half um, inch pieces. So I cut nine of them and you're going to glue. If I can get the glue, there we go. I had them, oh, I hope you can see that there. And put my glasses on. So we're going to, now you know, the biggest challenge I had with the kids today, and I was really surprised, is um, they were very enthusiastic, but the biggest problem is they wanted to use too much glue. So I would suggest if you're working with especially the younger group that you put some glue out in a little puddle and give them a toothpick to apply it because they all they wanted to do was squeeze the bottle. That was it was really funny that that was the the biggest challenge no matter what. And I only had for the 70 kids I only had like six bottles, so that was really hard to to get them to understand that they couldn't they each couldn't have their own bottle of glue. Okay, we're gonna go one more here. So this creates, just kind of creates, oh, that one's a little big. Okay, so I, so I didn't cut it right. <laughs> there we go. So this starts out our playing board. And it's colorful because we've used all different kinds of the cereal boxes. And then the next thing I did is I, um, I have some magnet, uh, magnetic tape that has um, adhesive on the back. And all you do is, and this was another thing that really surprised me too, is the kids we're really intent on pulling the paper off the back of the, um, even the little ones wanted to pull the paper off the back of the um, self-adhesive tape. So I had each one of them then put their pieces down. Now also remember too when you do this that it's a great um, thing for them counting too. There's, because um, we could show them to count to nine, they had to pick out nine pieces, they had to pick out nine um, uh, magnetic pieces. Okay, so we have, we have our board already ready. Now the next thing I decided was I was going to use bottle caps for my plain pieces. 
So in order to that, for them to stick onto the uh, magnetic, I needed to put a little washer. So I just bought some little washers. And here's where I had a little problem. They wanted to put a little bit too much glue. And that, w that way it wasn't going to put, it wasn't going to go onto the magnet. So then I just, I, I put a little round bit of glue like that. And so that the little washer could just fit right in the glue. And then that way, when everyone took away their board, it all worked because the magnetic, the magnet just kept all the pieces where they didn't fall off. Now also keep in mind when you're doing a tic-tac-toe game, you think that you only need nine pieces, but you don't. Each each color you're gonna need, you're gonna need five, so you actually need them to make an extra piece. Now here's where the fun comes of using what you already have. Now today um, we didn't collect enough of um, buttons. I was thinking about putting buttons in the inside, and this is where you would either you know I took some of these really cool the flat marbles and and gave them out to the kids. You also could take, like, I have this really cool punch, which makes about one-inch circles, and that's what my sample is made out of. I put the, the colors um, of the one-inch circles just from paper to, um, to create it. So you're just going to, if, you, if you're going to put the marble in, then you just put the glue in like that. If you're going to put, like, a piece of paper in, you're going to put some glue right on the edge here and put that thing in like that. Now, if you don't have bottle caps, let's you know let's go further. Let's think, let's think outside the box and use what you have or what you can collect. Um, buttons are great. The same thing I did is I put, I put the um, the washer on the back of a button, and then it goes on to whoop, it goes on to the magnet that we put on there. See how simple that was? It is so simple to do and to show all the kids how to be creative, how to recycle as you go along. You know, be sure you tell them that what you're using and how you're recycling it, it's not gonna go into the, the landfill. And they've made something not only that is very creative, but it's also useful, which is a great project for kids and they all loved it.